Uh, well, it was great. It was great to come down the rooms and we had staff and players and uh, it was a feeling of uh, it had been not coming for a while, but we felt we were close. Um, so it was, yeah, it was nice. It was reward for effort for everything we're putting in place. Um, and hopefully it's something, you know, a sign of where we're heading. We've got, you know, we can use some of that momentum. It's one game, I know, but we did play well against Geelong in, you know, in a similar vein. We, we played our footy. We came off and felt pretty proud of what we put out there against them. So um, another challenge this week now is to try and come off again with a, and put smiles on staff and players' faces and fans. Did you, um, question, did you tempt the celebrations at all, given it was your first win, or were you happy to just let them go? Because I, I think we all have to see you get a You really had to get a win. We tempered the timing of the celebrations, as in for how long the boys went. It was hard to hold back excitement of... You know, you, you work all year, and we uh, we had a really disappointing season from a results point of view. But we've we've had some wins off the field. We've had some wins with some of the way we're going about our footy. So uh, we wanted to celebrate it. They enjoyed it. The rooms were uh, a buzz afterwards. But at the moment, we we got out of the rooms. We got on to GWS th for this week. On that, are you thinking changes or are you sticking with Yeah, we we're going to go in as as close as we can to unchanged. Uh, we had a couple of fitness tests today. McPherson will come back in, um, so that will be the one change we're looking at at the moment. We just felt that you know he's he was rock solid before he went out, so he's going to bolster that back line for us, which allows us to move a couple other pieces around, um, and we think it makes us stronger. Yeah. Yeah, he got he got through that really well. Um, and that was just to make sure that we didn't go one down early in the game, that he was confident he could get through and he feels pretty good. And that, that comes back to there, keeping the side that you have off a win, you like to reward the players you know, that were able to get it done. Yeah, if he probably Yeah, we, we made sure he took on one of the biggest blokes we've got. We, you know, Matty Hass, our, our fitness coach, uh, high performance. Um, he's played a bit of rugby league too, as a background. So we tested him out, it was good. He looked good. Yeah, he looked good. He, he was, you know, he's had a, he's had a week where he hasn't quite got out there as much as he'd like. So today was important for him. Other changes? Just the one. Yeah. Yep. Do you reveal the outs at all, or are you holding that? Uh, we'll just hold that one if we can. Just when, when we know what it is, we just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes it's nice to keep one or two, especially when we got Leon coming up. How close is Fisher? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Fish is around the mark. Now, the boys played in a practice match, which was a bonus. We were able to get another game in, so Fisher played in that. Um, we're still definitely, we're looking at Fish moving forward. Well, I mean, we've only got a, you know, three weeks left, or two after this one. Um, he'll be around the mark. We, Joshy Worrell trained with the squad today. He also played in that game. Um, I'm losing track of days, to be honest, we're late Friday. Um, yeah, so there's a few few of the younger guys that are, that are knocking, that are really keen to play, um, and Joshy Worrell's one of those. Um, he's performed reasonably well, although it's been pretty tough for those guys. They haven't had, you know, I guess full full games with 18 v 18, but they did get one on Friday, which was great. Hamill, we wanted him. He competed Friday as well, um, and that was we were just um, we wanted him to have a hit out with with genuine contest, you know, all angles contact. Uh, we, had, we weren't able to do that in training. We just felt for him, you know, with concussion, the, the history that he's had, we wanted to make sure he was ready. And, and he performed really well, um, but we weren't going to pull him up on a four-day break. So he'll, we'll look at him for next week. Matty, three games to go. How much is selection now about looking to the future, playing younger blokes, and or giving some guys the last chance to prove to you that they should stay in the list in a nice spot at the end of the game? Well, it's been, yeah, I mean, for a number of weeks now, we've We've been in that position, um, you know, looking at not so much the short term, but medium, longer term. What what is it going to look like next year? And um, there's still a little bit of grey in that area, of exactly what it does look like. But we've got an idea of what the numbers will go to. So, with that comes pressure on um, you know players, the spots we're going to go forward with. Um, so we'll look at some players over this time, and we have been, and we'll also uh, you know we'll also look at building some momentum. So there's that balance. That constant balance between, um, you know, we want to we want some form going into next year. We want to feel like we're 
we're able to get the game on our terms, but we also want to make some decisions on what 2021 looks like. And that's tough at the moment, both, you know, it's right across the board, players, staff, there's, it's, it's an unusual time at, at the moment and it's a challenge for, for all clubs. Yeah, they are. We, especially when you when you look at the position we're in. We, you know, this year was an important year for us in the draft. Um, we're going to be uh, reasonably strong in that early, you know, especially across that first round and second round. So um, we'll be looking to bring in some talent. Um, at the same time, we want to we want to make sure we keep a balance of you know, some of those more experienced players that can that can be our bull elephants, as Rossi Lyon put it. I thought he put it. Perfectly, um, we need some of those to stay around and, and help them develop. Yeah, space is not entirely your area, but leave space as well to chase creators or might come available. Yeah, and that, that is the balance I'm, I'm sort of talking about is that the 24 to 25 year olds that have played some footy um, that are going to come in, you know, straight away and add to our group. We, we did that last year through the rookie draft. And Keezy's probably the standout with that. Crockoff's played a number of games this year. Um, you know, that, that small amount of experience that we talk about trying to get into these younger guys, that, you know, 20, 30 games, it's really important So to have some players in, in, in that bracket. I thought we, we did that really well this year with Keezy, and he's shown that you know, he's going to be an important part of our future, hopefully going forward. We've had those meetings right across the season. I mean, it's, not, it's nothing new. We've, we've talked through and um, been really open with our conversations with players about what it is we're looking to do. And um, so the conversations just continue. They continue in and, I mean, ultimately you, you get to a point where you, you sit down together and you say, okay, we'll look for the, I guess for the, the club going forward. Um, it may not be that you're part of that. And they're, they're tough conversations, they are. Um, but they're ones you have to have. I mean, ultimately, they happen every year. It may be there's just a few more this year than, than the last few. So are there players out there, whether it be today or just the training during the day, running around knowing they've already had those conversations and know they're going to be here? And how have they responded to that? Uh, yeah, we, I mean, there's one or two that we've, we've, without actually locking it away, we've had some pretty you know, deep conversations on what it looks like. Um, they've been unbelievable, outstanding. We, we've got some really good human beings in this footy club. Um, and sometimes it's a reality for some. You know, I've given it my best shot and I've, you know, I've enjoyed it. And so you know, ultimately, in the end, if you're open and honest with each other, um, they're quite easy you know, conversations to have. Yeah, Croc, Croc's still here. Um, you know, it's a really tough situation for for Croc and, and his father and um, actually going back to Melbourne is not as obviously not as easy as it seems um, we had a uh, we had a chat about it and, and I was very open in you know, family first he if he wanted to get back there the challenge with that is actually getting in to see his, his dad um, you know in hospital it's not it's not available at the moment um, so I mean he'll sit at the moment make some decisions and, and we will allow him to do whatever he feels is best for him and his family Yeah, we, we take a lot of confidence out of the weekend and what's really that's the last three or four weeks we feel like we've played some good footy, let ourselves down on a couple of away trips. But we, uh, we feel good. We feel like we're playing the brand we want to we want to play. We feel like we're, you know, we're competing. Um, so we feel confident going into a game. But we also know the challenge we've got. We're, you know, we're coming up against a very talented side that, if given any room, um, they can make you look silly. So. Uh, we look forward to that challenge. I, I know them reasonably well from, from spending 12 months up there, so huge respect for their entire group. Um, probably makes me a little more nervous because I know what they can do. Um, and they haven't been at their best the last few weeks. They showed in the last quarter on the weekend what they can do if you allow them. So uh, we get our work cut out for us, but it's a challenge we're really looking forward to. I think every team sits in that boat. If you bring the intensity and the, the right game early, I think um, you know, there are a few sides in the competition 
um, at the moment that can weather that and can fight back from it. Port Adelaide are in a position, Geelong are in a really strong position, but um, you know, you'd like to think if we bring our game that we've been able to do the last few weeks, then we're going to challenge most sides in the comp. Um, it's then a matter of, you know, can, can you get on top early and put scoreboard pressure on? I felt, I felt like last week we were able to knock a few more balls through. You know, when we had those opportunities, even with the first quarter, we got towards the end and it was, you know, I thought, here we go again. But credit to our guys, they, they straightened themselves up and were able to put some scoreboard pressure on. Imagine I came out and said I put a line through Lynchy. He'd be in my office in the next two minutes. <laughs> not, not a chance. Not a chance. Lynchy's um, he's doing everything possible. I think he did eight Ks this morning already. So he should be available with everything going well next week. Um, and up until the injury, he was one of our better performers. He's a super leader on and off field. So uh, he'll be an important part of us for the last few rounds. Yeah, very happy. I mean, on the weekend, they obviously performed really well together. There's a connection there. You know, you can see that when they play. Uh, I thought Brad came in and performed really well. You know, as part of a, a midfield unit, I thought our entire midfield group played well. They connected up. Um, you know, they brought the contest, which is what we're after. And it was nice to see Brad get on board. Considering the break he'd had, it was nice to see him just buy straight into what it was we were doing. So good reward for him to come back in. Um, no, we're, we're hoping that, that that comes good and we're not, you know, we've got to a point now where we're not going to take more risk with Junior, um, you know, the season being where it's at. He's, we want to make sure that he gets that injury right. When you're talking, you know, a screw and the, the operation he's gone through, there are challenges with it um, that you can face. So we'll make sure over the off season that he does it, all the management he needs to do it and do it correctly. Um, and I'm confident he'll be, he'll be raring to go next year. I've got to be careful talking medical terms because I can't compete with Steve. Um, so I won't do it. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I, it's, it he's, you know, the operation was basically a fracture through you know, a bone in the foot that required a screw. Um, you know, and he's had that done. So now he's just going to wait for that healing around the screw. And it's important the healing goes well for him to be able to get back up and going.